Picture this, it's a cozy evening, perhaps with a warm cup of tea or a bucket of buttery popcorn, and you find yourself seated comfortably, ready to dive into the world of classic cinema. The year is 1951, and the silver screen before you flickers to life with the enchanting tale of an American in Paris. A cinematic masterpiece that has graced the hearts of audiences for generations, this film is a timeless gem that transports you to a world of art, romance, and the rhythm of life. As the opening credits roll, the nostalgic notes of George Gershwin's iconic composition fill the room, immediately capturing your senses. You can't help but reminisce about your very first encounter with this cinematic masterpiece. Perhaps it was the first time you saw Gene Kelly's mesmerizing dance moves, effortlessly gliding through the streets of Paris. Or maybe it was the spellbinding beauty of Leslie Caron, dancing alongside Kelly, their chemistry igniting the screen. The movie's vivid portrayal of post-war Paris, with its charming streets and vibrant colors, left an indelible mark on your memory. Now, let's take a step back in time and explore some intriguing facts about this classic film that you may not be aware of. From behind-the-scenes anecdotes to the film's lasting impact on the world of cinema, there's a treasure trove of knowledge waiting to be uncovered. So, grab your beret and get ready to embark on a journey through the enchanting streets of Paris, where art and love collide in the most beautiful of ways. But before we delve into these fascinating tidbits, let's take a moment to appreciate the magic of an American in Paris and the lasting memories it has etched into our hearts. In the 1951 movie An American in Paris, several intriguing facts add depth to the film's history. Firstly, during filming, actress Nina Falk contracted chicken pox. She returned to work as soon as possible, but her pock marks from the illness required an entire team of makeup artists to conceal, showcasing the dedication of the crew. Secondly, the film's 18-minute ballet sequence was so significant that it earned its own credit in the movie's opening titles, under the banner and presenting the American in Paris ballet. This highlights the ballet's artistic importance within the film. Lastly, it's worth noting the age difference between the two leads. Gene Kelly, at 38, was 19 years older than his co-star Leslie Caron, showcasing the casting dynamics of the film. These facts shed light on some lesser-known aspects of an American in Paris and add to the film's fascinating history. Fascinating history. In 1951, the movie An American in Paris made its mark in cinema history. Here's a look at some intriguing facts about this classic film. Gene Kelly's directorial role, Gene Kelly, renowned for his dancing prowess, not only starred in the film but also directed the entire Embraceable You sequence. His creative touch added a unique charm to the movie's musical moments. Arthur Freed's inspired idea, the film's producer, Arthur Freed, was inspired to make an American in Paris after attending a Hollywood Bowl production featuring George Gershwin's Jazz Age music. The performance of An American in Paris, a composition by Gershwin from 1928, left a lasting impression on Freed. Over the course of three years, he collaborated with Vincent Minnelli, Gene Kelly, Johnny Green, and Alan J. Lerner to bring this idea to life. A fusion of passions, Arthur Freed's vision for the film allowed him to combine two of his personal favorites, the timeless music of George Gershwin and the artistic style of French Impressionism. This unique blend of American music and French artistry gave the film its distinct flavor. An American in Paris stands as a testament to the creative talents involved in its making and the harmonious fusion of different art forms. Gene Kelly's dual role as actor and director, Arthur Freed's inspired vision, and the amalgamation of Gershwin's music with French Impressionism contributed to the film's enduring appeal. Enduring appeal. In the 1951 movie An American in Paris, Several interesting facts surround its production and cast. One noteworthy aspect is the interruption in production that occurred on November 1, 1950. At that point, Gene Kelly, one of the film's stars, began rehearsing the ballet choreography for the movie's final sequence. Interestingly, during this break, director Vincent Minnelli completed the direction of another film titled Father's Little Dividend. Another intriguing detail is the role of Jerry's sidekick, Adam Cook, in the film. This character was specifically written for Oscar Levant, who happened to be a close personal friend of both Arthur Freed and Vincent Minnelli, the film's producer and director, respectively. Oscar Levant, primarily known as a pianist rather than an actor, joined the cast of An American in Paris due to his friendship with George Gershwin, 
the renowned composer whose music is featured prominently in the film. According to Levant, there was some tension on set, as the cast and crew reportedly disliked Gene Kelly due to his perceived condescending attitude and snide remarks. These behind-the-scenes details shed light on the production dynamics and the personal connections that influenced the making of an American in Paris. They add depth to the history of this iconic 1951 movie. In the 1951 movie An American in Paris, several intriguing facts stand out. Among them, the discovery of Leslie Caron by Gene Kelly while he was vacationing in Paris is a notable highlight. Kelly spotted Karen performing in a ballet, setting the stage for her major film debut. Additionally, an interesting deleted scene involved Gene Kelly dancing and singing I've Got a Crush on You in his pajamas. This scene didn't make the final cut due to censorship concerns. However, Kelly later reimagined a similar number with the song All I Do Is Dream of You for his next movie musical, Singin' in the Rain. Furthermore, Leslie Karen's role in An American in Paris was a pivotal moment in her career. Surprisingly, she didn't speak English fluently at the time. Despite having an American mother, her understanding of the language was limited. Fortunately, her character in the film didn't require extensive dialogue, focusing more on her exceptional dancing skills. These intriguing facts provide a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes details of this classic film, showcasing the talent and creativity of its stars, Gene Kelly and Leslie Caron. In 1951, the movie An American in Paris made waves in Hollywood, but it's got some interesting behind-the-scenes tidbits. 1. Despite Gene Kelly's desire to shoot in Paris, the film was made in California on 44 constructed sets. The studio had a hard time arranging travel and locations. Only two shots in the movie are from Paris, and they don't involve Kelly. 2. In Charles Hawtrey's perfume shop, the customer concerned about how she smells was played by Madge Blake. She's better known as Aunt Harriet Cooper from the campy Batman series. Lastly, Leslie Caron, who starred in the film, struggled due to malnutrition during World War II. Her work schedule had to be every other day, which are Gene Kelly. So, an American in Paris had its share of challenges and surprises behind the scenes. Fascinating, right, ding, right, ding, right. An American in Paris, released in 1951, holds interesting behind-the-scenes facts. Arthur Freed, the producer, initially sought to buy the rights to George Gershwin's American in Paris number. Era Gershwin, however, had a condition. If the song was used in a musical, it could only feature Gershwin numbers for other songs. This led to the creation of a full-fledged Gershwin musical. Leslie Caron, making her film debut in the movie, arrived in Paris for a screen test with Gene Kelly. Surprisingly, she had never seen a Gene Kelly film and was unfamiliar with his work. These facts shed light on the creative process and casting choices behind this classic film. An American in Paris remains a timeless piece of cinema known for its musical prowess and iconic performances. Costume designer Irene Sheriff used 25 different shades of yellow for the toulouse lautrec segment of the final ballet in the 1951 movie An American in Paris. This meticulous attention to detail added vibrancy and depth to the visually stunning performance. After a decisive agreement during their weekly pool game, Arthur Freed and Ara Gershwin secured the film rights to George Gershwin's An American in Paris, a tone poem for orchestra for $158,750. As part of the deal, Ara Gershwin received $56,250 to serve as a consultant and write any necessary new lyrics for the songs used in the film. This collaboration played a pivotal role in bringing the iconic music to the silver screen. In the toulouse lautrec portion of the ballet, an American in Paris pays homage to some of the era's most notable figures. The segment features depictions of renowned individuals such as Yvette Gilbert, Jean Avril, Oscar Wilde, and the performer known as La Goulou. These appearances add historical authenticity to the film's artistic portrayal of 1951 Paris. These intriguing facts shed light on the creative process and behind-the-scenes agreements that contributed to the success of an American in Paris, making it a cherished classic in the world of cinema. 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 In the 1951 movie An American in Paris, several intriguing facts stand out. One notable aspect is the near removal of the ballet sequence due to production delays. This pivotal scene was on the brink of being cut as shooting fell behind schedule. 
However, MGM studio head Dor Sherry showed support for the film's creative team, including Arthur Freed, Vincent Minnelli, and Gene Kelly. Sherry believed that without the ballet sequence, the movie would fail, and he chose to delay its release to maintain its artistic integrity. Another interesting tidbit revolves around the screenplay's creation. Alan J. Lerner began writing the script in December 1949 and managed to finish it in a marathon 12-hour session in March 1950. Remarkably, he completed this writing feat on the night before his wedding, highlighting his dedication to the project. Additionally, the film faced some censorship challenges. Leslie Caron's introductory dance sequence, which included a seductive dance with a chair, raised concerns among certain censors for being too suggestive. To address this, Gene Kelly directed brief fantasy dance sequences that were incorporated into the film, as Liza's introduction. These facts offer a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes challenges and creative decisions that shaped the iconic 1951 movie and American in Paris. Can in Paris. Can in Paris. As we bid adieu to the enchanting world of an American in Paris, may the timeless allure of this 1951 cinematic masterpiece linger in your thoughts like a cherished melody. This film, a symphony of romance, art, and dreams, transcends the boundaries of time and space, inviting you to immerse yourself in its tapestry of love and creativity. As you reflect upon the characters' journeys through the vibrant streets of Paris, consider your own adventures in the City of Lights, or perhaps the dreams and aspirations that have taken root within you. An American in Paris is not just a movie, it's an evocative mirror reflecting the beauty of life's serendipitous encounters in the pursuit of one's deepest passions. Now, we turn the spotlight to you, dear reader, viewer. What memories, emotions, or thoughts does this film stir within your heart? Have you ever danced through the cobblestone streets of a foreign city, felt the rush of love's first bloom, or aspired to create art that transcends time? We invite you to share your reflections, for in doing so, you become part of the ongoing dialogue that this cinematic gem has inspired for generations. Thank you for joining us on this journey through an American in Paris, and for allowing the magic of storytelling to weave its spell upon your senses. Your time and interest are treasures to us, and we eagerly anticipate your stories and thoughts. Until we meet again in the world of cinema and creativity, keep dreaming, keep dancing, and keep cherishing the art of storytelling. With appreciation for your presence, your presence, your presence, your presence.